Hi, in this video I'm going to show you a free form builder for Elementor using which you can make a form by drag and drop just like other elements in Elementor absolutely for free so you don't need to have Elementor Pro for making a form or for designing a form and you know that there are many plugins out there using which we can make a form and then we can embed that in Elementor but this one is specially designed for Elementor we can use this inside free Elementor like other elements let me show you how so as you can see we have two forms here this one is designed by using elementor pro and this one is designed by free elementor using that free plugin and here you can design this the way you want like you can have a multi-column layout like this one and you can display your label your placeholder you can display a helping text also and we have date and time we can have drop downs and so on let's quickly check this if i open up elementor builder click on this and edit this form select this as you can see this is a normal elementor section and this is an inner section as you can see these are columns and if you want you can duplicate these columns or you can just add a new column let's remove this one now and as you can see these are also inner sections and with columns this is just a button as you can see a submit button and if i edit this then as you can see this is just a text and this have a label which is white in color and a field you can change the position you can change the label the form name the placeholder the help text and you can go to its settings you can make it required you can also enable validation by character length by word length you can edit your warning message you can go to the style you can change the label the typography the padding margin and all of these you can go to its input and you can also change its fading margin you can change the input color and hour focus and everything here will be discussed in this video and this is just for this one element if you edit this one you can decide anything for this also same goes for all of these and this is not it if i go to its elements you can see that we have all these elements available for free we can have some mid button text email number and all of these elements including file upload, rating, simple captcha, recaptcha and summary. So let's see how we can make a form and how we can achieve this. Now I am in my dashboard as you can see. The first thing is we need Elementor obviously. And then we need a simple free plugin. So just go to plugins, add new. And here search for metforms. You will see this plugin metform Elementor contact form builder. Flexible and design friendly contact form builder plugin for WordPress. So just install and activate this plugin. I already have this. After activating this plugin, you will see this tab. You can click on this. And here you will see all the forms that you have created. If you don't have one, you can just add a new form. And you can also go to its entries. And here you will see the form entries. If someone submit the form, you will see it here. You can go to its settings. And here you can select the recapture type. You can put your site keys and secret keys. You can also integrate your newsletters. So you can put your MailChimp API and you can also integrate this with HubSpot. So this is a free plugin with all these functionalities and the best thing is obviously the form builder. Let me show you if I go back to my page and let's close this. You can see that this is a normal page with Elementor. I'll show you how we can make this form right now. So as I said this is Elementor Pro form. I have Elementor Pro if I search for form. You can see that we can use this form this is by elementor pro if you don't have elementor pro then you can just ignore this let's also delete this so to make a form you can just search for form you will see met form just drag this over here and you can see that no content is added so now we can start making our form to create a brand new form you can just click on edit form and then you can select your form that you want to edit like i have these two forms here or you can just go to new and you can create a new form and then you can write a name for that like i'll write something like this and this is a general form and then you can select a template from these as you can see we have these templates and these are available in the pro version but we don't need this so if you are making a contact form you can select this one you can select this one or you can start by a blank form now to make things simple we will just use a free mail template to make the video short so if you want to see the demo you can click on this this will take you to its demo website 
or you can just click on this and then click edit form and this will open up elementor builder and a pop-up where you can design this form you can see that we got a ready-made template with all the fields and the form name to change the form name you can just click on this and you can call this your own form or any other name and then you can start editing the fields like you can click on this and as I said you can change the label here like first name obviously this is first name you can call this middle name or something but you can change the label and then you can change its name this is the name for this field so you can change this to another so to something like this or you can leave it as default this is the placeholder which is this text so first name and this is help text as you can see enter your first name here so you can change this also and same goes for all these fields if you go to settings here you can make this a required field so someone must have to fill this you can also validate this field by a specific type like by character length by word length so if you want you can restrict this field also and then you can also change its message like this field is required or something i'm not going in much detail i'm just showing you how we can make a form then you can go to style and you can change the label color like let's make this red and we can change its typography like we can change its font family font size font weight and so on and we can change its fading like its spacing you can see that it got some spacing around it and this is fading let's remove this and uh, you can also change its margin as you can see we have seven at the bottom you can increase decrease this like this let's go back to seven and this is for the indicator which is this trick you can make this white red and so on this is the warning text you can also change its typography then you can go to input field and here you can change the spacing of this specific field like let me show you if i make this 33 you will see this on the top we have the spacing let's go back to 15 and same goes for the margin this is the input color so input color and focus if i click this then this will change color to white as you can see the background color here is white and on the normal we have this gray color if you want you can change this like you can make this transparent if you want like this and you can change the input color to white and you can even put an image here and then you can decide a border for this color border color border radius this is six this is the rounded corner and placeholder so here you can change the color of this placeholder the typography and the help text so this is a detailed plugin using which you can change everything you want now let's say you need another column here you can just add another column and you can put something else here like if i go to elements i want to put an email here so i can drag this and then i can start designing it and we can have a three column layout next one is if i go to setting okay to elements we have all these fields that we can use if you need a typical you can use that like i can drag this let's remove the email and for the time we can choose a time here as you can see this is a time picker so you can also design this the way you want you can go to style you can change the colors the typographies and so on and you can use all these elements you can use multi select let's remove this you can drag this and this will display a drop down and here you can change your sizes. and same goes for all these elements like you can use all these elements like we have switch range slider url password last name first name after enlisting and we have gdpr consent simple recapture rating file upload and so on you can also upload a file like if you are making an application form and you want people to upload their cvs you can use this one so this is completely dependent on you i'm just showing you the form builder okay so let's remove this and let's click on update or close an update and this will display our form so you can see that we have black labels this text is also not showing but i have designed this over here and we have designed this field and we made this transparent and we change its label color and so on 
so this is how you can make a form using free elementor and then you can design that form so this is a free formula for elementor and a good alternative for elementor pro form and using this you can create forms like contact form email subscription forms newsletter forms and all these types of forms whether file upload and so on so hope the video will help you if you have any questions you can ask in the comment section thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next